Hello guys, welcome back to S3D. So this is actually going to be a very, uh, I guess, uh, very semi-custom, you can say. Uh, this one doesn't require any sort of custom work. Uh, essentially, you're just putting parts from a one action figure onto another. Yeah, not Gunpla, nothing, uh, no skill required. Uh, this is both uh, Robodamashi action figures, version anime. And uh, you can see, these all have the uh, Red Bandai logo and the uh, Tamashi quality stickers are nowhere to be found, right? Isn't that cool? Alright, so obviously over here, we have the prototype Gundam, the RX-78-1. And uh, in the back of the photo, it shows that you can put on the armor on the full armor Gundam. And that's essentially what I did over here. <laughs> I took the armor from the full armor Gundam and I put it on here. Now, not all the parts will fit. Uh, when you turn around to the back here, you can see uh, there's a piece on the back skirt. Uh, that green piece right there, uh, that is not used because uh, evidently the, uh, uh, the RX-78-1 has slightly different parts. Uh, versus the RX-78-2 So yeah, did I said the wrong thing? I mean, yeah, RX-78-1 has different parts than the RX-78-2 Okay, so now we get that out of the way Yeah, believe it or not This red box, this red logo right here, guess how much I pay for this one? I pay $150 for this guy The reissue <laughs> when it came out like basically a year after uh, I bought this guy for 150 bucks uh, it's like $60 so yeah I bought another one because you know on the box it showed supposedly there's three RX-78- dash, um, what am I talking about there's three uh, FA-78-1 right here so yeah <laughs> so basically uh, I don't even know how that's possible, but you know, it's MSV. They retcon a lot of stuff and then they also make up a lot of shenanigans. So yeah, there's three unit of these. Uh, one unit got de destroyed by uh, Johnny Ridden's uh, high mobility Zaku, which is pretty cool. You know, these uh, Federation scums uh, should had it coming, right? So anyway, very easy custom to do. Just put the armor on. And if you saw my shorts, uh, basically what you can do here is, uh, you know, with with this variant, you can uh, still have that beam rifle gimmick on the side skirt, which is pretty cool. So now he's got extra firepower. <laughs> now means he's got the double beam rifle. He's also got a beam rifle sticking out on the side of his skirt that you can flip forward as a firing gimmick. That is actually an official gimmick. If you look at the photo right there, you can see he's holding a bazooka on one hand and then he have the uh, beam rifle flip forward from the side skirt. It does actually attach to that. He has like a very unique uh, side skirt that allow this feature. So, yeah, this is actually a very nice figure. I think they will eventually reissue this guy. This guy's kind of expensive right now on the secondary market. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. Very simple custom to make. Uh, may cost you a lot. <laughs> if you, you're buying the reissue, it's like 60 bucks. So it's not too bad. Uh, but uh, trying to find this guy right here currently, uh, that might be a challenge. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.